Jamie, how are you, buddy? I'm good, man. Good. I'm good. I haven't seen you in a, a bit. It's been a I, minute. I don't think I've seen you since. I feel like every, <laughs> every time I talk to you, it'll be like, like the first time I was on the show, it's like, things are great. I'm doing stand up. Next time I'm on the show, I'm like, I'm homeless. Subscribe to my Patreon. And then this time it's like, I found Jesus. Everything's fine. This, you, I, I was thinking that because you've been on this show four or five times. Yeah. And I was well, sitting there because it goes way back like five years. Yeah. And I was like, the evolution of Jamie Kilstein on the Chad Prather show has been, hey, it's wild. I've been accused of womanizing. Everybody in America hates me. Then, yep. man, I'm on Joe Rogan. Everybody loves me. I'm Come doing stand-up. I'm an atheist. Now I love Jesus. <laughs> I'm a liberal. Now I'm a conservative. Guys, if you want to have fun in your life, befriend uh artists because they always mm -hmm. just come with traumatic upbringings it's tumultuous they'll, they'll always keep you on your toes they always make you feel better about your life i know how many of my friends have i kept stable by them just being like ah we're not yeah we're not killstein yeah we're, we're not killstein level bad we're fine i <laughs> everybody you're the litmus test for, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. for um God, yeah, you, you. There's no plateaus in your life. That's for sure. It's Dude, always ups and downs, you valleys were, and peaks. Man. I know, and I'm, I'm getting. But th this is the time I'm trying to, because I have everything that I've wanted now, and you know, not to be like sappy off the bat, but there is something about when you come to God where you're like, oh, this is what it feels like to be just loved, to be forgiven, and then that makes you want to be a better person, and it, it, it's just a really, it's a good starting um, uh, platform, and. But I'm catching myself, yeah. Like where I'm like I'm so used to that up and down, and it becomes addictive, yeah. Right, like that's why so many people end up in like repetitive toxic relationships or abusive relationships, not because they're dumb, but because if I've only dated toxic red flag girls, <laughs> when I meet a toxic red flag girl, I don't go, uh oh, my body, my biological body goes. Oh, we have sex with her yeah. and with people like her. Let's go do that again. Yeah. And then suddenly you're like, oh, I can change her. It's different and blah, blah, blah. So you get like addicted to the trauma, especially if you grew up around it. And so right now things are good. I'm proud of what I'm doing. I'm happy. And I can, I can watch myself when I'm going to like self-sabotage. Mm. And it's a fight. It like daily because you're used to drama. I'm used to coming on shows and being like, hey, here's why my life is bad. I mean, yeah. comedy inspires that. You tell people your life's bad and then they all go, yay. And so you're getting validation from it. Whereas, you know, if I got up on stage in Austin and I was, hey, have you guys ever tried mindfulness? I'm really getting healthy and I'm aware <laughs> of my bad habits. I'd be like, boo. -hoo. We didn't pay for Tony <laughs> Robbins. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Give yeah. me kill Steve. Tell, yeah. <laughs> tell me about how everything's falling apart. Uh, so that is, that's the, it, it's not the struggle, but it's a challenge yeah. and it's fascinating to watch where I'm like, oh, you're happy with a girl. Uh, are you going to look for fights? Are you going to look for, because you're used to this and you know, same mm -hmm. with the gig, just every, my boss is so happy to have me as an employee because I'm the only artist who answers the phone on the first ring. And it's not cause I'm professional. It's cause I have PTSD and I see a boss calling and I just go, Hey, am I fired? And yeah. He's like, no man, just numbers are good. I'm like, okay, bye. And like, I'll pick up like that. Cause yeah. it's just, you're just, things going to get bad. And I think the trick is like, can you accept that? Like things can be good. Artists are weird, dude. Um, I, I I'm an anti-artist in that I, I, I'm not the artist type, yeah. right? I don't live in this creative bubble to where I'm out of touch with reality, which causes what I do as an artist to sometimes not be as good maybe right? but it, it also makes you more relatable and kind of realer well I, I you're one of my been, favorite pocket like shows to do because i'm like i feel like i'm talking to a friend we're we're not silent during commercial breaks because you're just on your phone ignoring me you well, know what i mean yeah exactly well the stuff that we talk about like a lot of times i'll have guests that'll come on and i don't want to talk to them a lot before the cameras are rolling because i'm like don't waste the good conversation yeah, let's have course. the good conversation on camera the best conversations are always off camera yeah. Especially with you and me, yeah. because it's real. And it's like, I don't know if you can ever recapture that, because it's weird, because even though we're sitting in this room still alone, you've invited people, their eyeballs and their ears in, and it's like, eh. And we always know that. Like, yeah. there's always part in my head where I'm like, hey, you're getting too real with Chad, say something funny. Or well, like... you, Jamie, okay, let me back up. So, as, as an entrepreneur, as a comedian, as, a, as an entertainer, as all of these things, as a... 
you're a sojourner. You're a journeyman. You're, you're a traveler. You're, you are walking through this life. You've experienced, you've touched all of the, uh, the points of extreme yeah. out there. <laughs> sure. hey, you have. Yeah. Just... Some of it's bitten you in the ass. Some of it's been rewarding. You've kind of, oh, you're this, you're this crazy volcano that, boom, has kind of settled into, okay, I'm making decisions with a little more thought, yep. a little more wisdom here, because you got Integrity. a lot of experience yep. under your belt. And so I love talking to you because you're vulnerable. Sure. You're vulnerable. You, you, you have been, I don't care whose show you're on, what you're doing, what are, you text me, and it's like you text me some things, and I'm like, <laughs> Freaking kill steam, bro. And I'm like, I love this guy because you. the last time we were together yeah. on the show, you were like, I just want to find a Christian girlfriend. I remember that. And I'm like, it's a solid request. I specifically said a 5'2 Christian girlfriend yeah. to slide into my DMs, which by the way, <laughs> I have a 5'2 Christian girlfriend. And by the way, sometimes they are also nuts. Yeah. 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 <laughs> they, they, they indeed are. Yeah. I don't care what. Uh, level of sanctification right. they've reached you still you still got estrogen that's and there's some things the holy spirit doesn't overcome no dude that's the worst <laughs> when you say like I, i'm finally in a relationship where jesus is at the center and you both are being toxic monsters and mm -hmm. you're just like i it's more like we've kidnapped jesus and like yeah. made him watch this like traumatic yeah. relationship sit in the corner jesus right <laughs> watch what we do we're gonna mess all this yeah. up see if you can fix this <laughs> And uh, that's why can. I always tell people, I say, God may save you, but that doesn't mean he's taking all of you to heaven. There's parts of you he wants weeded out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what we do is, as humans, mm -hmm. we beat ourselves up. You spend a lot of time, I spend a lot of time, we beat ourselves up. Oh, I didn't do this right. I mm -hmm. failed here. I messed up. See, you're still an artist. You know, it's like you, you do. Yeah. Because the introspection of it all is still there. And as humans, we self-analyze, we self-deprecate, we, you know, somebody pays us a compliment, and you're like, you don't know me. Oh, God. Somebody I'm... gives you an insult, though, and they're like, God, why did that stranger insult me? Yep. You take that. Yep. You take the negativity, because yeah. it's like Velcro. Yep. You just grab it. I mean, dude, how many times have you posted a video that could have thousands of mm -hmm. comments and not just like hey that was funny oh, but yeah. like man i was having such a bad day and this video brought me back to life and then some like anonymous dork is just like gay and you're like yeah. why do i even do <laughs> yeah. this you know what your mama's gay yeah <laughs> yeah you're like looking at their profile and you're like of course they'd have it on private and you're like what am i doing yeah why am i doing this and yeah you're right the negativity and maybe that's like an evolutionary trait where we're like we have to protect ourselves against the yeah. bad but like man when you can start I'm forcing myself to be present because sometimes I'll get these long, nice DMs and I skim it. I'll mm. like skim it for bad. For bad. And then I'm kind of like, meh. And then, yeah. <laughs> so I'm like making my, and meanwhile, the emails are just like, I would have killed myself if I didn't find your podcast. And like, so I'm making myself read it. I'm like visualizing there's another human, they're writing this, like something I did. And, and it's, it, that is so much harder. Yeah. It's so much harder than seeing just, yeah, some dork writes you and you're like, fight me. I'm the, I'm the world's worst about that. And, and what I, I read something a long time ago that said, you know, our, our ancestors, they spent their lives running from things that were trying to eat them right. and kill them. And so we know that if we get out of our cave, it ain't a safe space anymore. Yeah. It's something out there, you know, until the, you know, until the Iron Age, until we could fight back, really, yeah. it, it, we, 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 were, we were prey. Yeah. And we're still expecting people to prey on us, right? Yeah. Well, and so you get used and all this kind of stuff. And so it's, it's hard to look for the positive. Well, and I think um, it's hard to look for the positive, but it's like sports psychology, right? If every time I went into a fight, I'm like, this guy's going to beat me up, then I'm going to fight scared. By fighting scared, I'm going to be more vulnerable to attack, and then uh, I'm going to get beat up, and then yeah. I'm going to go, see, I knew I'd get beat up, right? And so it's the same with the way we talk to ourselves or the way we take in information. If I'm only taking in the bad, then I'm going to, like, start veering. It's like when you look, uh, you know, you start to drive where you look. Um, I'm going to start veering towards that bad. Whereas if I can actually take these compliments and be like, man, my new show is really good. Mm -hmm. That's going to make me put out a better show, yeah. which is going to continue to make the show do good. Um, but the problem is, especially again, in like creating in comedy and in, in whatever, you're just encouraged to be negative. I think the vulnerability <laughs> is the only reason I'm not dead. And I think that uh, a lot of guys listening, especially, you know, vulnerability is kind of like a chick thing. Yeah. Um, 
you know, even the way we were raised, you look at like, you know, little girls were like talking about their feelings and having tea parties. And we were just like Undertaker choke slamming each other into like swimming pools and right. trying not to drown. And but I think that so many men, you don't want to be like a you don't want to be a victim, right? You don't want every day. I'm like, here's why my life is bad, blah, 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 blah. But to be able to share your what you're going through with your wife, with your guy friends, with your, you know, church group, whatever. That is so important. And I think the reason a lot of dudes just off themselves is because they literally just need to vent out what they're feeling and hear another, especially another guy just go, Oh dude, that's, I think that all the time. Yeah. And then they just go, Oh, cause the times that I've been like in the darkest place is when I just go, nobody knows how I feel right now. Yeah. And so I must just be broken. And so like, I don't know, man, what's the point? Uh, but then when you share stuff, it just, not only do you help other people, yeah, but it really does help you. Helps you. I got to pull it back a little bit. Cause I've definitely been on like a lot of first dates where I'm like, and then I tried to kill myself a third time. <laughs> and they're just like, geez. And in my head, I'm like, this is what you're signing up for. Yeah. Like just, just take yeah. it or leave it. Um, they leave it. <laughs> but, uh, I, I, I really do think it, it kills me sometimes that I'm, as I'm sure it does you that we're so self-critical or self-analytical or whatever, but it's also kind of our greatest strength. And I think the key is like, can you tame it? Can you be self-aware without being self-hating? Can you be confident without being cocky? You yeah. know, these are all things that are really important, but it's a it's a fine line yeah. but, but, but between is it going to elevate me or is it going to be toxic and, and, and you know, beat me down? Yeah.